Hi to all of you. Today we have some exciting news to report regarding Social Security payouts for our elderly beneficiaries on VA, SSDI, and SSI. The monthly benefits have suddenly been raised to an incredible dollar four hundred seventy-five. You won't believe this. That's accurate. Seniors who qualify will begin receiving a staggering four thousand seven hundred fifty-five dollars monthly benefit boost as of right now. All seniors receiving Social Security payments, including those on SSI, SSDI, and VA, are covered by the new law. Seniors will start receiving their increased benefits in the coming weeks, and the increase will go into effect immediately. For seniors who have been fighting to make ends meet lately, this raise is a huge win. Social Security payouts have been largely stagnant while the cost of living has been growing gradually. Seniors' quality of life will be enhanced, and their fundamental requirements will be met with this increase. Please share this video with seniors you know or yourself if you think they might benefit from this knowledge. To ensure that you never miss another update from us, please hit the bell button and subscribe to the channel. Greetings to all and welcome to Stimulus Alert, our channel. Are you anxiously awaiting the most recent information regarding Social Security and the fourth stimulus checks? If so, you've arrived at the ideal location. Now take a seat back, unwind, and let's start the video. For millions of Social Security recipients, the recent announcement of the 2024 Cost of Living Adjustment, COLA, has been good news. With the arrival of this eagerly anticipated update, their benefits will increase by $696, offering much-needed respite. The Senior Citizens League projected a 3.2% increase in Social Security benefits for 2024, which is consistent with the COLA for that year. But it's important to consider this in context. Any rise in these benefits is a welcome and positive development, even though it may seem a little less significant than the very large COLA of the previous year. It promises to significantly improve the lives of people who rely on Social Security to pay for necessities and preserve their standard of living. Regarding Social Security check distribution, the second wave of payments is slated to be issued on October 18th to people whose birthdays fall on or after October 11th. Payments for beneficiaries who were born after October 21st should arrive on October 25th. For many people and families who depend on these payments to meet their financial requirements, this distribution schedule is a vital component of the Social Security calendar. Considering the remarkable COLA increase in 2023, the average benefit increased to $1,827, while the maximum benefit shot up to $455. That year's record-breaking inflation was the main cause of this spike. It serves as a clear reminder of the enormous influence that outside economic forces can have on the Social Security system. There is a procedure in place for anyone who might find themselves getting what they consider to be disproportionate payments. Social Security recipients might choose to challenge the ruling or ask the Social Security Administration to refrain from pursuing recoupment. The administration is making a concerted effort to stop overpayments and make relief more easily accessible for those who have unintentionally gotten more money than they need and are now requesting waivers. The seamless and equitable operation of the Social Security system depends on this dedication to justice and accessibility. The declaration made by the Social Security Administration on October 4, 2023, shows that it is determined to make sure that its procedures for handling overpayments are thoroughly scrutinized. The precise amount of overpayments that the government must locate and recover is not totally known, but it is a sizable portion of the $1.4 trillion given to the more than 71 million people who receive Social Security benefits each year. In order to make sure that individuals who depend on resources and benefits are allocated appropriately, this thorough evaluation is a necessary first step. It's critical to keep in mind that Social Security is about actual people and families that rely on these payments, not just numbers. In 2021, it gave 4 million children whose parents were retired, dead, or incapacitated an average of $2.8 billion every month. These benefits are an important source of assistance for kids, giving them access to basic needs and helping them finish school. Additionally, Social Security is essential for securing a family's financial future, particularly in the event that a family member becomes disabled or dies. The Senior Citizens League's 2023 retirement poll offers insightful information about the effects of Social Security benefits on retirees' life. 
it shows that 8% of participants had monthly expenses under $1,000, and 45% of participants reported monthly expenses of less than $2,000. 37% reported monthly spending in the $1,000, $3,999 range, while 11% reported expenses in the $4,000, $5,999 range. Furthermore, 4% of them spent more than $5,999 a month. These figures highlight the wide range of financial requirements that Social Security users have, as well as the vital function that these benefits play in their daily lives. The rising rate of poverty among older Black and Latino individuals over the past 10 years is a highly concerning trend, according to a recent analysis from Chasing Progress, a collaborative journalistic effort in Colorado. The data paints a striking image, with Latino seniors over three times as likely to experience poverty, and black seniors more than twice as likely as their white counterparts. These differences are a glaring example of the systemic injustices that still exist in our society and the urgent need for extensive legislative changes. It's critical to comprehend how this static minimum wage relates to the larger picture of Social Security and retirement as we examine its effects. In a time when seniors are making up 12.2% of Denver's population and the city's population is getting older overall, it is clear that many seniors are feeling pressured to work longer in order to maintain their financial security and pay for the escalating costs of retirement. Since wage levels and the Consumer Price Index for Salaried Employees in Urban Areas, CPIW, are two major elements that directly affect COLA, the cost of living adjustment, the relationship between the federal minimum wage and Social Security payments becomes crucial. While COLA saw its largest increase in 40 years in 2023, an astounding 8.7 percent, the relationship between COLA and the minimum wage is still crucial to understanding this issue. Finally, it's critical to recognize that, in addition to retirees who receive Social Security payments primarily, there are situations in which minors, who are not usually beneficiaries, may need financial assistance. Many young people could encounter circumstances where they require financial aid to finish their studies or to pay for necessities like food, clean clothes, and instruction. Understanding the various demands of this group and elders is essential to the larger discussion about social and economic policies that need to be carefully considered and changed. To sum up, these interconnected problems demonstrate how urgently our economic and social policies need to be thoroughly reevaluated. It is our responsibility to continue being aware, involved, and proactive in resolving these issues. This concludes today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you found this material helpful in order to receive future updates on the most recent financial news.